Both of y'all spoke of y'all wives, though. Can y'all talk about the roles that they play in y'all careers and how they help out just on the home front and the business front? Well, I mean, I think every man need a good woman. You know what I'm saying? I've always been surrounded by goodness in my, my lifetime. I was blessed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, um... You know, I went through my ups and downs like that, like everybody else do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But when you find the one, you'll know. You know what I'm saying? When you you you'll know yeah. by the way you know. Well, and this is about keeping that peace. You know what I mean? On, Once you find somebody who can respect your peace and respect your space, you cool. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. My wife, my wife's the best man. Bro. With great Come blessing, on. you know, mm -hmm. stand behind me 100. percent You know what I'm saying? Don't give me you know. Uh, don't try to block none of my hard work. You know, like you gotta stay home or be home more. She's like, go get it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Trust her, with my, trust her with my life. You know what I'm saying? So she's been a real blessing to me, and a real soldier, whatever I do. So Sarah's been a real, real blessing to me. Mine's been, mm -hmm. especially me coming from being a playboy. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 got, I was, I didn't know what I was missing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> see, I can't with your shit, Steve-O. Because, see, I kind of want to promote that as well because there's a lot of players out here, but no, I don't think folks one, understand. Though. I don't care how much yeah. you play. You got to have that one. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? God bless me with that one. Like, there's no no stopping me from that one I got. You know what I mean? Before the fame or after the fame, did you meet her? Um, in the middle. Because she, st she still didn't even study that. All yeah. the biggie shit and all the money shit. She ain't, she she had her own. So she yeah. didn't really care Ooh. about that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. she ain't never cared about paper. Yeah. She been getting paper. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what I mean? So so that didn't that in um you know, that you see that's the way a lot of young fellas get it messed up. Like they think it's all about the paper, not with the real ones. When mm -hmm. the real when you got a real one, she gonna hold you down whether you broke, up, Thanks. down, whatever, be there for you, whatever. Come on. You know, they might complain a little bit about certain shit, you know what I mean? That's what but, they do. Yeah, I mean a woman gonna do that yeah, regardless. That's what they do. But when they holding you down, man, that loyalty, yeah. you can't find that no more. So mm, if you ain't not at all. If you ain't, you know what I mean, you don't get that part and you just looking at a nice fat ass, a Barbie, something that look good, but she broke. Come on. And you on your own. You Come dig? on. And I'm telling you, like the same mind I met when I was like 21. Mm -hmm. uh, treat me the first piece of pussy I ever ate. I was a player. <laughs> I said I ain't eating no pussy. She treat me, but uh, <laughs> but besides that, we left each other for a while. You know, 20 years off and all just being friends. You know, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what really, really I've been on shit special. You know what I'm saying? And you know, hey, with people kid, everybody been around the world. Yeah. So I come back and uh, the other day was at the hospital, man. I seen her. Interacting with my father, man, I knew it was one of the reasons why I loved her, like, to, mm -hmm. for that. You know, when, like Gravy said, what about no bodies and all that? She's pretty and everything. But, you yeah. know, she always had her own, you know what I mean? 800 credit score and everything, better than mine. So, but this is her thing. She, the little thing she do and be there for me, that's what, I, that's what you're looking for. Exactly. And I, I had all the rest, all that pretty bodies and loud talking and freaky nights. But yeah. a good friend is hard to find, a real friend. Exactly. Know, so when it comes to the business, though, fellas, the business of this music industry, it can be cutthroat at times. How have y'all been times. able? Times, <laughs> all the time, all Come the on. damn time. How have y'all been able to navigate that, man? You just gotta learn. You gotta learn. You gotta be in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? I started at 19, so you know what I'm saying. I'm 47 now, so I learned. I learned more than enough to know who, who's what, and you know. Who's gonna do the right thing and which deal is you know structured? You know, yeah. We know all the ins and outs. You know what I'm saying? Get you good lawyers. And I've been with the best of those, and mm -hmm. I done had a taste of everything. Good today, lawyer, man. I done, <laughs> I done had from Peter Theo to uh, Stoudemire to uh, I done had the best of everything, man. Chris okay. Lighty to the Mark Pitts to the Wayne Barrows to the Sylvia Rome to the Kevin Lows to the Leos to the I done been through everything and everybody, man. Who was somebody? Working with Chris Lighter, I'm about to come back to you, Steve, on that too. But working with Chris Lighter, what was that like working with him as well, man? Well, that was the man. That was the man. Violated the record, shout out to Mona Scott. She mm -hmm. was she was the queen as well, and um, I learned a lot. Learned mm -hmm. a lot, a lot through Chris Lighter and Mike Lighter and Dave Lighter and Jonathan Lighter. And, you know the fam. You know yeah. what I mean? I, we ran through it, man. We ran. You know, he got me my first check. Got me my first flight to Miami. You know, mm. big up to Fendi for doing that. Yeah, and making that. You know, seeing the vision. You know, coming from Brooklyn, coming from the projects, and just and shout out to LG coming from my projects, and then hitting uh, Miami and seeing a palm tree the first time from a nigga from the hood. It's, Come on it's now, different. It's different. <laughs> Very different. 
I with your dad. I with your dad. Steve O. The business mm-hmm. side. Because, see, also, too, you a numbers guy. Yeah. So, I mean, how the hell are you keeping them numbers above board at the same time? I'm going to tell you, man, like gravy, but I really come from the era of really selling CDs out to Trump. Mm. So, being independent and then going to these corporate world, having people like Master P and, and uh, Dr. Dre steal some of my music samples. You know, I, I try to prove it, but yeah. that's the whole thing. You know it from priority. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you one of the worst and best things that me happened. Shouts out to my man Eddie O's getting signed to Tommy Boy and going through that transition, man. It taught me everything about business like I went to college. Mm. Even though we got the worst end of the deal, I can say. Yeah. But I always kept, we always kept all my publishers and stuff. I was smart enough to do that. Mm. But just seeing how they move and how they put a, a $700,000 bill on you with just two cars in the video. All the, all, all the cricket shit you see, you learn. But I learned everything from there. So now when I went to the liquor game, it's like, how can you sell liquor so easy? Because I know about distribution. I know mm. I go find a distributor. I know how to go market this. And then when it comes to the movie side, man, I'm, I'm more of a beast in the office now because I've been through the fuckery. Yeah. Y'all can't fuck with me no more. Yeah. Oh, my shit. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, I'm, I'm in the argument every day. I'm talking with the big boys. That's how it's going to go. Yeah. I spend my own money. Y'all ain't giving me no money. I ain't even asked me no money. It's my money. So you work for me, really. You know? Yeah. And I'm making you money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm coming in and doing things that they ain't never seen done on the marketing side, and they supposed to be the big boys. Yeah. So with stuff like that, so I say going through that transition really was like you said, it was fuckery, because like you said, the game is fuckery, mm-hmm. but it taught me so much that now it's like, now I'm, now I'm beastery. But I want, and it also made me treat people right. Like, yeah. they even tell you, anybody around and tell you that I, I do fair business. Yeah. Just because I seen them, people fuck people so much with people with talent that really helping you grow. I can't stand shit like that. When you saw a seven hundred thousand dollar bill for two cars, <laughs> I mean, how did that play Listen, out? Man, go to Cuckoo Cow my, on uh, YouTube. Look up how I feel to you. <laughs> I mean, we had a happy days looking video. All I know, end up we can't build that eight hundred thousand dollars. Say you owe eight hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, for what? Three cars, a porno star, and an old Happy Days restaurant. <laughs> With the L.A. man, they put the fuckery down. Oh my that god! That took the business right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. My projects was a hundred thousand, and they shot it in our neighborhood. I said, "This one, remember, this is real video they had to bring the cranes out, yeah, exactly. so make it look like it's a big production." Yeah, you know, oh fuckery. <laughs> oh my god! 